Guys, how are you doing? So before I get into the review of my tournament at Hockley Golf Club, just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's recently subscribed to the channel. I don't know why, but the channel is growing very quickly at the moment. So thank you ever so much for that. And to my old subscribers, the ones that have been here from the very early stages, we are seeing some signs of improvement, but unfortunately the video today is not going to be one of those. So uh, let's get into it. Let's see what went well and what didn't go to plan at Hockley Golf Club. So Hockley Golf Club was a different golf club altogether on the day. Not only was obviously I a bit nervous as you would get on the first tee, but the wind had completely changed direction and it was blowing a gale. And just before I get into this, I'm not making any excuses. There was a score to be made on the day. Level par did win it um, and that was with the eagle as well. Um, then second was three over, five over was third. So it was playing tough. I'm not making excuses at any point in this video. Um, I definitely could have played better and I'm gonna definitely see the errors of my ways through this round of golf, but it was very tough um, and I wasn't prepared. Um, one of the subs, Combobulate, I mean, brother, you were dead on because you said in the comments you predicted it. Wind had changed on the head um, and the first four holes were just brutal. Um, I'll show you the map of the golf course and I'll show you where the wind was going on my practice round and then obviously where it was on the actual day. And it was just a gale. Like, it was a good job the greens weren't necessarily any quicker because it could have been unplayable because the wind was playing a big part in the putts as well. Um, and whereas in the day I was hitting like four irons off the tees and then wedges into the greens, I'm then hitting driver, four iron, wedge, just to get up there. So the par fours were par fives, the par fives were par sixes. Um, and even the downwind holes, it was tough to keep the ball on the green. But as I said, even though it sounds like I'm making a lot of excuses, I'm not making any excuses. So let's look at the scorecard. Let's look at how I played. And you can very quickly see from the scorecard, it's not pretty at all. So it's 13 over. I mean, there's no hiding from it. Um, yes, it was tough conditions, but I really, um, uh, I wasn't all down to the tough conditions. I think I could have been better mentally prepared for the day. Um, club selection was poor in a lot of places as well. And I just took the whole day as a learning curve. Um, even with 13 over, I definitely didn't come last. Um, and I was... Uh, I think the field found it very tough as well. The experienced players, um, Gary that won it, I mean, level par was astonishing on the day. Um, and even John Barnes and Phil, who shot three over, five over. Again, they were good knocks and I would have happily taken that um, after playing um, around there in the conditions that it was. So, double bogey to start. Had nothing to do with the wind. Snap hook, four on, straight into the trees. Found it. Punch four iron into the green, three putted. Cheers for coming. Um, then um, made the most unbelievable par of my life on the second. Um, I've hit driver, this is into the wind, I've hit driver 220 and that was big. I mean, I was hitting 370 downwind, 220 into wind. Um, then I've hit four iron to about 50 yards short of the green, chipped, putted. So number two was the best hole of the day. It would have been brilliant if I could have just, you know, just walked off from there, gone into the clubhouse. Um, then double bogey, double bogey. I just got into a cycle and I think I just didn't take a breath. I was very rushed, I was very quick. Um, I was panicking, I think that's very fair to say. I was panicking a lot about my round because all of a sudden the plan that I had the night before when I was like visualizing all the holes um, with four eyes off tees, wedges into greens, all that kind of, that just went straight out the window. And if you watched my What's in the Bag video, I didn't have my three wood on me because I had been sent back to Taylor Made because I was getting a new one. Um, and so I basically, I had a driver and then I had my forearm because I couldn't hit my rescue because it goes too high, too spinny, and it wouldn't have gone as far as my forearm. So that's also another reason why I've now got my two iron in the bag. Um, and it's why it's a learning experience to this golf club because I think I will be more prepared when I'm in that situation um, in the future. So double par, double, double. I mean the par four was just brutal, like 440 into winds, driver, iron, iron, out the back I think, and then I hit it and then three whacked it. Oh no, oh no, I did two putt it. Um, <clears throat> 
but yeah, it was. And then the par three again, that was downwind. So on the day that you saw me hitting like punch seven on into the green, that was actually a wedge. I hit pitching wedge downwind. Didn't get up and down because I didn't keep hold it on the green. And then number six was just stupid. I've hit a great four on. I've hit a wedge into the green. I've then putted it because it was into wind. I've like rammed it like 12 foot past the hole because I thought the wind was going to stop it. Then rammed it past and then missed the one coming back. So I think that just summed up after six holes and you're seven over. Uh, it was hard to... Um, it was hard to reset, I think. I think the par on number seven, which is stroke index one, the hardest hole in the um, golf course, I think that did help me a bit. It was massively downwind. I've hit this driver. The hole's like 440, 450, something like that. I've smashed driver and it's gone like 350, 360 because I only had like 80, no, 70 yards left of the flag. It was a 40 yards chip just to bounce it onto the green. Hold the par, par. happy with that. And then the back nine, I mean, this is... If these doubles had been bogeys, I think, if these doubles had been bogeys, I think I would have been more happy with my rounds because there's no excuse or reason why these should have been doubles. Um, yes, I'm hitting one more club or I'm hitting more clubs in, but there should have been a few more pars. Um, and on the back nine, I think that's a lot more apparent. Again, there's too many three putts. There's too many two putts where I wasn't getting up and down in the right place. So again, on the last video, um, Definitely commenting on the um, short game needs to be worked on. And yeah, I agree completely. Um, I'm going to be looking to do hopefully 20 hours of practice a short game alone um, a week now. Obviously, it's a lot lighter. And I'm going to give you guys a video of how I'm going to pl plan and schedule my um, practice routine and what I'm practicing on. But short game definitely needs to be tightened up. Um, but yeah, back nine, there was a lot more downwind holes. So again, I'm hitting driver, obviously tonking it. But just trying to keep the wedges on the green was tough. Trying to keep them because everything sloped away from you. Putts. I had to change my putting stroke. If you've seen some of my videos, obviously, I'm quite upright when I putt. And I almost had to get lower down. I gripped down my putter because the putter was just going all over the place with the wind. I was going all over the place with the wind. So, overall, it was a big learning experience. Greens in regulation, I think, is obviously quite apparent. I wasn't used to that windy conditions. And... Um, I think that's something that I definitely need to look at. I've now changed, so I've got a two on in the bag. So I think fairway stats should go up in the future. Um, and putts, again, that was just awful. There should never be a four putt ever. ever. There shouldn't be a three putt, but there should never be a four putt. Um, and I think the first seven holes was just panic. Panic set in um, and my plan had gone straight out the window. So it's obviously something that I need to look to in the future. Um, and um, yeah, it was, it, was a good, it was a good learning experience. I think there's positives. I did swing the club well. I mean, my driver was good downwind. I just couldn't, if you've seen my driving um, like trajectory, it's very high. And for that day, it wasn't good enough. So here's the plan for me. A lot of plan practice, obviously. Um, going to get a stock shot with my driver and my two iron that I can hit like a low like stock fade down the middle of the fairway eight times out of ten so that no matter what day the day brings whether it's raining or it's windy or whatnot or if there's a tight hole I can bring out this punch shot that I know is going to go 240 down the middle or 230 because a lot of these golf courses don't require um 320 plus drives at all um so yeah Guys, that was my round um, around Hockley Golf Club. Um, no, I'm not really ashamed of how much I actually scored in a day. I'm going to take it as a big positive. Yes, we've got a lot of work to do to get that first win in the bag. Um, and I'm highly motivated to do that. I want you guys to be here when obviously I do produce that first win. And I'm looking at a scorecard showing 4-5 under rather than 4-5 over. Um, but there's definitely um, signs of progress there. This round could have been a lot better. This round could have been a lot worse. <laughs> um, but guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. As always, please subscribe and I will catch you guys later.